After opening 13 representative offices throughout Myanmar, International Marketing Director of Bangkok Hospital reveals the strategies in terms of expansion of the hospital into Myanmar, as it is the biggest market for the hospital at the moment. He pointed out that knowledge transfer is one of the key points of the strategies. Well, one of the things that you have to bear in mind is that you cannot expect people from one country traveling to Bangkok forever. Uh, you have to be prepared to also give back, which means we are very heavily engaged in what we call uh, knowledge transfer and exchange, which can take different kinds of action. Uh, we have trained a lot of doctors, even so we are not uh, a, a university hospital, but we can uh, help with observation and certain levels of training for nurses, for techni medical technicians and for doctors. Also, we have at the moment, almost every week, a team of our doctors going to meet their counterparts in the country. That might be in Yangon, in Mandalay, in Taonji, or in Lashio, in, in different cities, uh, for a round table discussion between experts, let's say in orthopedic surgery from Myanmar and from Thailand. To take advantage of growing business opportunities in Myanmar, Bangkok Hospital, together with its local partner, is currently in the stage of negotiation to open the hospital in the country. Uh, we are at the moment negotiating a, a contract with the with government and with the partner side, the private partner uh, in Myanmar. Uh, the hospital will be in Yangon and we are planning at the moment for a 300 bed facility in the country that also can cater to tertiary care service levels. Okay, and when, we can, when can we expect um, the hospital to be you know, open? Well, we would, hope, we would hope within the next three years. But three that years. depends a little bit on how negotiations are going on. Uh, land is already kind of selected. Uh, investment is, is, is ready, but now we have to con conclude the contract and start building. Looking forward to ASEAN integration in 2015, Singapore with international standard hospitals may be a big competitor in medical tourism. However, Bangkok Hospital still thinks ASEAN community in two years' time is an opportunity in drawing Myanmar customers. Well, of course, in Singapore, the medical facilities are excellent as well. They have yes. the knowledge, they have the technology, everything. But I. I know that between, for example, our, our hospitals here, Bangkok, and Bangkok Hospital and particularly also Bamungrat Hospital, I would estimate we corner between 70 to 80 percent of all Myanmar patients leaving the country for seeking medical treatment. Mm -hmm. And what do you think are our advantages in terms of competing with Singapore in medical tourism, especially attracting the Myanmar customers? I think, I think there are several uh, uh, advantages. Number one, it's much, much closer. Mm -hmm. You have many direct flights between various cities in Myanmar and Bangkok. Mm -hmm. If you talk, uh, look at the associated costs of medical tourism, which is transportation, which is accommodation, food and so on, which is considerably cheaper in Bangkok than it is in, uh, in Singapore. And last but not least, and I think that's one of our cutting edge advantages here in Thailand is uh, Thai people are extremely polite and hospitable, mm -hmm. uh, which attracts a lot of medical tourism to this country. Bangkok Hospital partner with hotels such as Amri Residence to offer accommodation for patients in medical tourism. This year, the hospital expects a 32% growth or over 700 million baht in terms of revenue from Myanmar market. Andrew Tammy Sang reporting for Myanmar Focus Daily.